Welcome to DIY episode 007. Today we're going to install half shaft spacers on a 2001 Honda S2000. The first thing you want to do is get the rear of the car on jack stands and climb under the car. Next, you want to spray some penetrating oil on the drive shaft nuts and bolts. These bolts are highly torqued from the factory and even worse, they're often rusted. This is why I only suggest performing this job with an impact gun. Use an impact gun with a U-joint in a 14mm deep socket to remove the six bolts fastening each rear axle to the differential. If you can't reach all six bolts, you can rotate the rear wheels to make the bolts more accessible. With the bolts removed, you can now install the spacers. Pull the axle bucket away from the differential and insert the half shaft spacer so that the ridge is pointing towards the differential. With the spacers in place, you can now install the new nuts and bolts provided with the spacers. The size of the nuts and bolts will be different depending on the kit that you buy. In my case, I used a 16mm wrench to hold the nut and a 7mm hex drive to turn the bolt. Once again, if you can't reach all 6 bolts, you can rotate the rear wheels to make the bolts more accessible. With the fastening bolts mostly tight, you'll need to torque them down. Some people even use Loctite for extra protection. Given that the nuts and bolts differ with every kit, the torque specs you should use will vary. For reference, the stock torque spec is 61 foot-pounds. You'll need to put the parking brake on to keep the axle from turning as you torque the bolts. Torque 3-4 to four bolts on each side at a time, then remove the parking brake and spin the wheel so the remaining bolts are accessible. Reapply the parking brake. This will allow you to torque the remaining bolts. Lastly, lower the car back down to the ground and enjoy your hopefully vibration-free acceleration.